Okay, this one is uh, called independent samples t-test. Why is it called independent samples? Because uh, unlike the earlier uh, example, in this case uh, we're comparing two independent groups. Earlier it was more like a same group, uh, just one group and uh, you know doing a pre and post test you know it's more like a pre and post test you know kind of experiment but this is uh, two independent groups and we are trying to compare the two different groups and trying to find if they are they're, they're, they're different from each other or not uh, its practical implications are like for example here okay the questions like do female college students have a higher mean GPA than male college students? Do Americans who exercise live longer than those who don't on average? Do uh, chemotherapy patients who take a new medicine have more energy than those who don't on average? You know, something like that. So uh, the the setup the setup of uh, the experiment. I mean. Uh, uh, the, the the you know hypothesis testing is like this this is one group with the, the mean of GPA for example and it's another group you know the two groups in this case this is a male and this is a female and they're comparing um, you know male versus female okay for example a sample data from the from the population is like you know uh, mean GPA for male is 3.10 and uh, mean GPA for female is 3.25 you know and uh, standard uh, deviation of the means is um, 5, 0 0.58 and this is 0 0.50 and we're just, just trying to compare if there's any difference or it's you know sort of like same you know no difference between male and female, you know, male and female, or there's some difference, male better than female, or female better than male, you know. So, there will be a lot of, uh, you know, examples like that, you know, in, in real life, and if you want to determine the difference or not, you know. Okay. population parameter we are interested in is the difference between the means of the two populations so we write it like mu1 and mu2 uh, to calculate the difference you know we we subtract and uh, if there's something you know if, if there's no difference you know the, the result will be zero but you know by subtracting you know uh, one mean from another mean you know one from another then uh, we can we can we can see the difference you know the difference could be zero the difference could be you know positive or negative and then you we know the sample statistics we are interested in is the difference between the two sample means of course we can't do this mu mu one minus mu two uh, that's the hypothesis we're trying to you know come up with you know or, or t trying to test and using the the, the sample means and we estimate the standard error of the sample mean difference you know here instead of you know we're not just interested in one population mean or one sample mean anymore what we are interested in is you know uh, the mean of the difference I mean difference of the means difference of the means here right and the standard error is going to be also standard error of the difference of the means you know so okay this is very important we have to you know understand you know the the initial setup this is uh, exactly what I said earlier the independent samples t-test is all about the difference between two means you know earlier it was about just one mean you know sample mean population mean but now it's about the the difference between two means. We can kind of re replace, you know, uh, population mean with the, the difference between two population means, and you know, 
sample mean with uh, the difference between two sample means and the uh, mean or st uh, standard error of the means with the standard error of the difference between two means, you know. So if we understand the earlier examples, earlier, you know, uh, te uh, hypothesis tests, you know, process steps of hypo hypothesis tests, then it's just a matter of, you know, replacing the mean, sample mean, with the uh, difference between sample sample means and population mean with the differences between two population means. And of course, standard error of the means, you know, with the standard error of the difference between two means. So there's nothing to it. It just, uh, you know, be, uh, make sure that we're not, we make sure we keep using the, you know, these, you know, differences. Don't don't switch around or get confused with the the earlier examples because we we're concerned about, you know, that. Uh, inevitably, uh, over the formula is going to change because now, uh, for the standard standard error, you know, we can't just get the standard error one sample. It has to be a standard standard error of the difference between sample means. Okay, so um, well, when when we actually calculate what this is, you know, we understand what that means by pooled variance. Okay, let's look at the pooled variance. The pooled variance is calculated as follows. Okay, so basically, this is you know the the uh, a variance for for a sample one, and this is the variance for a sample two, and when you combine and you know, and get the uh, a pooled variance, in other words, variance of the, the the two two samples combined together. It's not exactly average, actually. Yeah, I shouldn't have said average. Okay, it's pooled variance. So, a variance of the the two samples combined together. That's why you know. Uh, it, that's why it's like this, you know, because uh, degree of freedom, you know, uh, there are two populations, so, you know, the population size is going to be, you know, combination of two, right? Divided minus two, the minus one minus one, so, and uh, also seven squares, you know, if you add them all up, you know, sum of squares for, for this sample and this sample, you know, so this is actually correct, this uh, formula is correct, to come up with uh, a pooled variance for, for, for these two sample groups. Okay, so, with the degree of freedom 1 is n minus 1, and the degree of freedom 2 is n mi and 2 minus 1, okay, yeah, that makes sense, right, and this T statistic is all about you know trying to get the uh, T statistic for the you know s just to the difference between two samples. So basically, you know everything is just same except that uh, you know what we're dealing with is a difference between two means. Okay. So if you get this idea, you know, calculating that is pretty simple.